My name is Susan and I'm an occupational therapist working at Tallaght University Hospital. And today with my colleague Carol, I'm going to talk to you about what living with an inflammatory arthritis means to you and some of the range of ways that you can use self-management techniques with your arthritis. While you'll be under the care of a rheumatologist to guide and give you a suitable treatment plan to manage your condition, we'll be explaining the range of ways that you can supplement this with your own lifestyle management and the role an occupational therapist can have in supporting you through this process. This video is intended to be used as part of your overall treatment plan with occupational therapy. If you're not currently under the care of an occupational therapist and you would like to be, please discuss this with your medical team or your GP and they can make a referral for you. You can also contact your local HSE primary care centre if you wish to inquire about occupational therapy services in your locality. Alternatively, if you wish to find a private occupational therapist, please visit the website of the Association of Occupational Therapists of Ireland at aoti.ie. Let's start by asking the question, what is arthritis? Arthritis is not one single condition, but an umbrella term used to describe over a hundred different types of arthritis involving pain, inflammation and stiffness of the joints. For example, you may have heard of rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, osteoarthritis or gout. These are all types of arthritis. A number of these conditions fall within the category of inflammatory arthritis and in this video we will look specifically at this group of conditions. You may wonder why you would benefit from visiting an occupational therapist when you have inflammatory arthritis. When your joints are inflamed, stiff and st sore, you may experience difficulty in day-to-day -day tasks like writing, cooking, going to the gym, minding your children or using a piece of equipment at work. The primary goal of occupational therapy is to enable people to participate in everyday activities. So, we can help you adapt your daily tasks so that you can continue doing what makes you you. These may be everyday tasks like getting dressed, cooking the dinner, doing a college assignment or your work, or things that you'd like to do like meeting up with friends or playing a sport. Inflammatory arthritis is a term used to describe a group of conditions which affect your immune system. Currently, the exact causes are not known, but we know it's an autoimmune condition. This means that your immune system has had a heightened response to a perceived threat which results in pain, stiffness, and sometimes changes to the affected joint structure. Research is ongoing into why people are more likely to develop one of these conditions. The three most common forms of inflammatory arthritis are rheumatoid arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, and psoriatic arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is an inflammatory condition mainly affecting the joints and at times tendons. It can affect any joint, but most commonly affects the small finger joints, thumbs, wrists, feet and ankles. This condition is more common in women and more likely to be diagnosed between the ages of 30 and 50, but it can also impact younger adults and those later in life. Ankylosing spondylitis is another form of inflammatory arthritis that can impact the joints of the lower backs, shoulders and hips. It's more common among younger men, but women can also get it. And psoriatic arthritis is a type of inflammatory arthritis that those living with the skin condition of psoriasis can develop. Again, it can affect most joints, but commonly affects the fingers and toes. These conditions are known as systemic conditions because they can affect your whole body, and they can also start at any age. There's no cure for these conditions currently, but the outlook for those diagnosed with an inflammatory arthritis is significantly better than it was in the past. Effective treatment begins much earlier and new medications are available, which means less joint changes and symptoms which can impact a person's ability to manage their daily tasks. The symptoms of inflammatory arthritis can vary from person to person, but often include joint pain, warmth, redness and swelling in the affected joints. Fatigue, morning stiffness, restricted movement or function in the joints is also common. Doing your normal day-to-day -day tasks can often result in increased pain, swelling and fatigue and it's normal to feel frustrated, irritated and low because of this. Occupational therapy can help you change your routines and how you manage these everyday tasks and this can have a really positive impact on your ability to live well with arthritis. 
In this first picture, you can see an example of a normal joint. A joint is like a hinge between two bones. Inside a joint are two bones that meet. They are lined in a pink, healthy cartilage. It's smooth, strong, protective layer that covers the ends of both bones. You can also see within the joint are ligaments, which are like elastic bands. They keep the bones in place while we are moving. The joint is surrounded by a capsule and synovial membrane. The space within the joint is filled with synovial fluid. This fluid brings nutrients to the joint and cartilage and is produced in the synovial membrane. On the outside are the muscles which lengthen and shorten to move the joints. When you have inflammatory arthritis, your immune system can cause your joints to become inflamed. This inflammation can particularly impact the synovial membrane, the tendon sheaths and the bursa, which can mean that your joints swell and become stiff and painful. If left untreated, this inflammation can weaken the joints, which can mean that they are not as strong or as stable as they need to be to work for you. This can mean that when you open a jar, the forces that go through your finger joints as they twist will put pressure on your knuckles. If your joints have been weakened consistently over time by the effects of inflammation, then those joints can find it harder to hold strong against those forces. If we don't try and find new ways of doing tasks, but make the task easier to do and less forceful on your joints, then over time, shifts can occur at the joints. The good news is that you can begin to help your symptoms and protect your joints from the moment you become aware of your inflammation. Your occupational therapist will help you to make smarter choices in how you use your hands every day to minimize the effect of your inflammatory arthritis in the longer term. You may find that there are times when you're going through a flare-up. This is when you have more inflammation in one specific joint or in lots of joints at the same time. And during a flare-up, you may notice that your stiffness lasts for longer in the mornings or you're more tired than normal, and you may have more swelling and pain in your joints, which affects what you do every day. Once you notice that you're having a flare, you're better able to manage it. A flare-up can happen for many reasons. We know that stress and overuse can aggravate symptoms. Overuse often happens on days when you wake up feeling good and get stuck into repetitive tasks like gardening or chopping veg or typing. For whatever reason they start, flares can be helped by trying some of the range of things that we're going to outline now to help you to manage your symptoms. It's also important to keep in contact with your medical team and mention if you're having regular flare-ups as you may require a review of your medication. There are many things that you can do to manage your condition with the support of the multidisciplinary team behind you. Firstly, the medical team, which includes the rheumatologist and specialist nurses, who are there to support you in looking at medication options to help you manage your inflammatory arthritis. Medication has an important role in managing the symptoms that you are experiencing and how active the inflammation is in your joints. Your team will monitor you closely and work with you to help you find the best option for you. We will now look at some other ways to help you achieve extra pain relief and better function. In our next video, we will look at joint protection and pacing techniques in more detail. But firstly, we want to give you an idea of some of the things that you can do at home, which will help you feel more in control of your life and your inflammatory arthritis. Some people find that cold therapy can relieve pain and inflammation. This can be achieved with cold water or ice packs, but you can also purchase gels and sprays in your pharmacy or supermarket. Many people find that heat can also be helpful to relieve pain and stiffness. So let's look at some of the ways that we can use heat to help you manage your symptoms. Immersing your hands in a basin of warm water and gently opening and closing your fists. If you have an access to a wax bath, this can also be comforting. Reusable hand gel hand warmers are available in shops and online. You click a little disc inside and it becomes hard and warm and lasts for about an hour. They're very handy to have in your pocket when you're going for a walk in the cold. If cold weather exacerbates your pain, it's essential that you are proactive about wearing gloves outside or in a cold environment, for example the freezer aisle in the supermarket. You can buy thermal work gloves, which are very useful if you're working in the garden or hanging up wet clothes outside. Your occupational therapist can provide you with some gloves to help, but do make sure you've lots of pairs of winter gloves so you're never without them. Don't leave the house on a cold morning without protection on your hands.
Your body needs a range of nutrients to fuel it, so it's very important that you eat a healthy, balanced diet to give your body all that it needs to function well. If you would like further information on eating well when you have arthritis, then have a look at the Arthritis Ireland Healthy Eating Booklet, which can give you further general guidance, or discuss it further with your GP. Being referred to a dietitian is also an option for more in-depth specialist advice. Your occupational therapist will talk to you about whether or not splints may play a role in managing your symptoms and improving your hand function at your occupational therapy appointment. There are various types of splints that may help in different ways. Many people find these compression gloves give relief to painful swollen hands and fingers. They can be worn in the day, during activities, or overnight to relieve pain, and can also be found to help reduce early morning stiffness in your hands. These off-the-shelf thumb splints support the joint in your thumb. They can be worn during tasks such as driving or gardening to reduce pain, provide stability and prevent overuse of the joint. A wrist brace can support your wrist joints in tasks and is used particularly when people are experiencing wrist pain in function, for example changing your bed sheets or doing some DIY. And these small finger splints can be used to prevent too much movement at your middle finger joint and position your fingers in the optimum position for function. It is important that the splints are worn as directed and not overused as you need to keep your joint moving as well. If your occupational therapist identifies splinting as an option that can support you in managing your hand symptoms and protecting your joints, you will be assessed and provided with the appropriate splints for your needs at an individual appointment. Exercise is known to have many health benefits for people living with inflammatory arthritis. Inflammation can lead to muscle weakness and stiffness in the joints, so it's important to get a balance of both rest and activity. Physical activity can help strengthen the muscles that surround the joints and this protects them. It also keeps you mobile and is good for relieving stress. It's key to begin slowly and build up gradually. We know that we are all much more likely to stick to something if we enjoy it. So think about combining exercise and a social outlet. Maybe going for a walk with a friend or trying a new sport with a club. If you link the social aspect with exercise, you're much more likely to succeed in making this change a habit in your routine. The commitment to people or financially is a helpful strategy to link the task into your life and you are more likely then to keep it up. Also, the social outlet of seeing other people and a change of physical space is very good for your mood and your mental health. Listen to your body. Don't overdo it. It can be really tempting to work too hard initially. But if pain for prolonged periods after exercise is the case, you should not be feeling ongoing pain after exercise, so do a little less the next time. Maybe use your phone or your diary to track your distance or your time and this will help you monitor your progress. If you are having a flare-up, it's important to rest inflamed joints, but do continue to keep things moving gently. Work with your physiotherapist is recommended to ensure that you develop a programme that suits you and your needs. And Arthritis Ireland have helpful information on local exercise groups that are running around the country. Many people diagnosed with an inflammatory arthritis are of working age or in education. We would recommend that you seek out the advice of an occupational therapist to support you in your academic life or workplace. We can help you to employ joint protection and pacing strategies to your specific workplace or academic needs, organise your workplace to suit your needs, an ergonomic assessment that would look at the setup of your workstation to optimise your ability to work well in your environment, look at your roles in your job and liaise with your employer to negotiate changes if needed, liaise with your school or college for extra support such as use of a laptop or extra time to complete exams, or help you achieve an optimum work-life balance which is a challenge at the best of times. There is legislation which protects Irish people of working age who have conditions such as inflammatory arthritis who want to stay and work but may require some adaptations to their work environment or work routines to support their long-term workability. 
Your occupational therapist can give you tailored advice and supports for your personal situation. Arthritis Ireland also has helpful booklets which can give you generic advice on these work issues and supports. Other skills that can help you manage your pain and stress levels are relaxation or mindfulness techniques. These can allow you to build some rest periods and time out into your daily routine. A helpful one to start with is a relaxation exercise called a body scan, where you do a head to toe check and release tension wherever you find it, as tense muscles around inflamed joints will be adding to your pain and stiffness. Reach out to your occupational therapist if this is an area that you would like more information on. Sleep is important for your body to rest and recover overnight, but often people with inflammatory arthritis, a good night's sleep can be much harder to come by, and this will contribute to the pain and the fatigue that you're experiencing the next day. There are many things that you can do to improve the quality and quantity of your sleep. So do ask your medical team or your occupational therapist if this is an issue for you. Making simple changes to your sleep environment, your sleep routine, activity patterns and coping strategies can really help. Having your family and close friends aware of what it means to live with inflammatory arthritis and how they can support you is vital also. In many ways this condition is invisible as people can't see your pain or understand how fatigued you feel. So they may not reach out to support you in the same way as if you were living with a visible injury. Communication about when you are finding pain and fatigue levels high can help bridge this gap and allow those around you to support ways that may help you. There are other social supports available through Arthritis Ireland and Young Arthritis Networks. These services have helplines, Facebook pages and opportunities for social supports through coffee mornings, self-management, online courses and social exercise classes. So we hope that you now understand a little more about what inflammatory arthritis is, how the symptoms might affect you and some ways that it can be managed. We will now move on to talk about how you can look after your joints while carrying out your daily tasks at home, at work and during leisure time. You can make simple changes to your daily tasks to ensure that you're not putting unnecessary strain on your joints, enabling you to manage these tasks better and to minimize the fatigue or pain that you find you can often feel at the end of the day. And by continually making these small changes and developing new and smarter habits that are kinder to your body, you can minimize your symptoms and slow down the progression of your condition. For a lot of people, the fatigue that they live with when they have an inflammatory arthritis can be one of the biggest challenges they have. It can be helpful to think of your energy as a specific amount that you have to last the day, so you need to use it wisely. In our next video, we will look at how you can use practical techniques to manage your energy and pain levels in doing your homework, your work tasks, the household chores, or getting dinner on the table. So do check it out for lots of practical advice. We will give you the option of a plan B, a new technique or habit that you can choose to put into practice to minimize the impact of symptoms on your daily tasks. We will now invite you to watch the next video, Living with Arthritis, Protecting and Pacing. Here we will show you the plan B, a smarter way to live well with arthritis. For more information on aspects of living with arthritis, we recommend that you look at the website arthritisireland.ie. Here you will find trusted information on different types of arthritis and treatment advice, including recommendations around physical activity and healthy eating. Thank you for watching today and we hope you enjoy the next video.